All right. Today we're going to settle a highly controversial topic. Can you run your Yamaha on the flush port? We got two Yamaha 150s on this boat. Run one of them on the flush port and we're going to run the other one in a bucket for 30 minutes. We're not doing no one minute, two minute BS test. We're going to run them for 30 minutes. We're going to pull the pumps apart afterwards and we're going to check to see if there's any damage. I got two brand new Yamaha OEM water pumps here that we're going to be putting on these lower units right now. So let's get to that and then we'll load them onto the boat. No impact guns here, folks. We ain't stripping nothing. Shouldn't be that tight anyway. Make sure your housing ain't melted. There it comes. Like I said, it's got about 80, 60, 60 hours on it. And tight pry. That's how a QA comes out. Mm. Bam. All right, guys. We're going to do the same thing to the other side, to the other lower unit. We'll put them both on the boat and we'll run them at the same time for 30 minutes. All right. Starboard. Yep. Right here. Okay. Port starboard. Look at me clean my drive shaft. My dad's on his app. Blade. Bam. It's in the rig. Twist. Push. Boom. Done. All right, guys. Starboard pump is done. Got two empty Yamaha boxes. Awesome. Whoa. All right, we got the starboard motor in the bucket, port motors on the flush port. We're gonna run them for 30 minutes each. Pull them apart when we're done. All right, guys, pretty much damn near been 30 minutes. On the flush head, in the bucket. So 30 minutes is up. I'll show you on the gauge. The temps are identical on the gauge. Oh, dude, I just poked oh, no. a hole through it. <laughs> Ah, that was a good bucket. <laughs> Ruined my bucket, guys. I wanted to use the eddy cooler, but it wasn't deep enough. All right, guys, to the bench. Here is the starboard side lower unit. 
Just ran this for 30 minutes in the bucket. Brand new Yamaha impeller. Let's see what it looks like. All right, the cup came off. 30 minutes in the bucket. Let me wipe off the grease. There's still grease on it, guys. The fins are completely straight still. This is honestly all to be expected. This is this is how Yamaha tells you to run them. So there it is, guys. This is 30 minutes in the bucket. Everything is by design there. Anyway, yeah, this is mint. I'll just put this here for now. All right, let's go whack off the this other side. The this is the real moment of truth, guys. You're excited. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe it'll be completely wrecked. 100 105% confident that the, they'll look identical. I'm one of your skeptics. This is this is the proof right here. We're going to show the whole world. Yamaha, you watching this, Yamaha? Into that. I know I know they know this is legit. Oh, so Okay, kids. This is for all the backyard naysayers. I've never read the manual. I actually had to dive into the manual to see if they actually tell you not to do this, and they do. All right, who's ready for a side-by-side? -side? Hmm. Here it is. <laughs> Potentially more greasy. There's a little more grease there. Grease on this one. So here's the housing, guys. Not melted. But yeah, here's the pump, guys. Fins are straight. Oh, that's no why. crease. This impeller is 100% brand new. Let's get a side by side. Okay. You're gonna get, yeah. That's starboard. In the bucket, 30 minutes. On the hose, 30 minutes. No crease, no folds. Same over here. I don't want to hear it no more on Facebook and on YouTube. Run your thing on the flush port. There's no reason to be doing a bucket. There's no reason to be using a muff. It's there. Hook up your hose. Good water pressure. All day long, you can run those pumps. You could sell that. You could clean it and put it back in the box. Over here, same thing. These pump, these you, these are identical. You don't even know which one was which. Thirty minutes on the hose, completely safe. So the guys winterizing their boats. They want to flush them at the dock when they come back. Totally fine. All right, guys. So you saw what we did. We ran them both thirty minutes each in the bucket on the hose, pulled them back apart, showed you that they were completely fine. Both the same, no wear or tear on either of them. Running them on the hose is not a problem.